Okay, friends, in today's video, I'm sharing with you what we got in our two boys Christmas stockings. They are the ages five and almost two. So five and two, we're just gonna call them two as it is. Everything in their stockings is about $20, $20-$25 total. Due to just staying in a budget this year, I kept it really simple, got some things that they need, and then a few fun little surprises. I'll also be sharing what I got in my two daughter's stockings as well, and they are the ages 10 and eight, so be sure to watch for that video by subscribing down below. So we are going to start with my one-year-old, almost two-year-old. So all of the kids got a few basic like treats. I don't worry too much about candy on Christmas day. Um, you know, you have Christmas day, Valentine's day, Halloween is definitely excessive. And then there's Easter. And so above and beyond that in our everyday basis, we don't eat a lot of sugar uh, processed foods. We try to eat really whole food around here. And so I don't worry about that one day, two days a year. To be honest, um, when I'm getting them a treat, it's just really expensive to buy like $8 candies versus $1 when I'm buying it for four kids and it's just this one time of year. So if that is something that you're feeling conscious about it, remember it's like 98% 2%. And so I don't feel bad about getting conventional candies once in a while, but I just wanted to disclose that on here because I do talk a lot about natural things and so, if you're wondering, well, Hannah has definitely processed sugar and some dyes in her stockings. That is my reasoning behind it. And I have a piece, I'm, I have peace about that. So candy that my one-year-old got is three things. So he got the little container of fruit juice. I got all of the kids, the Whopper house. And then he also got some gummy worms. So I didn't get him a lot but he had to have something because all of his siblings are going to have candy. So he'll be wanting to moosh, moosh off of them. <laughs> okay. So I also got him a new, um, baby straw cause he had just been having like the little tiny like finger ones. So we have been really working on brushing his teeth. And so this will be officially his new little toothbrush. And then we have been out of jumbo crayons for a long time. Um, I don't mind the Walmart brand and, uh, there's like, I don't target brands too, depending on where you shop. So he got his own set of jumbo crayons, which he'll love because, um, it's just fun to be one. <laughs> okay. And then I also got him a pop socket, little popper thing, because we have one of these in the house and it belongs to my eight year old daughter and it's purple and pink. And he actually loves to play with it, but it's hers and it's hers. So anyways, I got him his own little pop socket. And then I considered purchasing actually gifts in his gifts, bath toys, but I decided that I didn't want to deal with the clutter. And so I compromised and I just got him three little boats for his bath time. And I think this will be plenty and it will also replace him using my measuring cups, which I find considerably annoying to have to wash after each bath. So he has three little boats, that's his bath toys. Everyone got a pack of various different socks, uh, just because of holes, rips, and I don't know where socks go. If anybody has a sock storage solution, laundry, drop it down below. Totally off topic of stockings, but he got his own little socks. I love Marshalls for grabbing socks, such good deals. Um, and then everybody got a new color of kinetic sand. Our kinetic sand has hit the dust. We like to pull these out during school time. They like to play with them. But the kinetic sand that we've had is like two years old and then ready to toss it and everybody will get their own little container. I put them in little plastic containers and they're good to go. And then everyone also is going to get a little pack of the little snuggle socks. I got these at the Dollar Tree. I get them every year. I get my, my slippers or my sockies there and I also get their gloves at the Dollar Tree because then you don't have to worry about if they lose them or not. Um, and then everyone got a new ornament this year. I did go with glass. I'm hoping I don't regret it. <laughs> so I got these at Hobby Lobby. Um, their Hobby Lobby is actually 66% off the week before Christmas. And so I think this was like $4 and it's super cute glass. So he's going to, he's going to love that. That's everything for my one-year-old, almost two-year-old. And now I'll share with you what we got for our five-year-old. Okay, so some of the things are the same as the younger one. So he also got the little Tootsie Rolls and the Whopper Christmas. 
for his candy, but I also got him two other things. So milk dugs and the not so healthy Mike and Ice, which I loved as a kid. So I got him those. And then he also got for Marshall's a pack of socks. He actually needed socks. Um, he is getting big and tall and langly. So he needed a pack of socks. We got him those. And then also a pair of little snuggle me socks, which we love. I, these ones too, they have the little grippers, which is nice. Um, and then he got a new kinetic sand as well. And then his three like fun little surprises in his stocking, Mario toothbrush. Yes, he did get a Mario toothbrush last year, but it hit the dust. And the only thing about this, you can't replace the heads, which is annoying, but I'm sure this Mario phase is just a phase and we'll get him like an actual replaceable toothbrush next year, I'm sure. Okay, so if you watch my What I Got the Kids for Christmas um, presents, then you know I got him a whole bunch of little caricatures to play with anything that he wants in the house. He's going to love these, but his absolute favorite character is Luigi. It's his favorite. He loves Luigi. We've had Luigi birthday parties. He just loves Luigi. So when I found Mario Kart Luigi, <laughs> I knew it was the best little surprise at the end um, in his stocking. And then he does love his Switch. That's like the thing he likes to do when he wants to have some free time, you know, Friday nights or whatever. So his new ornament is this glass controller, which I also found at Hobby Lobby. So fun little surprises on a budget in his stockings this year. But I know they're fun things that he will just get to enjoy and use the whole year long. So if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to below to see my what I got in my 10 and 8 year olds stockings and give it a thumbs up and I'll see you soon.